Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. We are heading off to Rampant Ruins. Let's watch this cutscene. There! That's the dig site that Snaggle Scale was telling us about. Oh, I hope the Skylanders can figure out some way of stopping whoever's behind this. Piece of cake! The Skylanders and I have been through stickier situations than this. Oh, I'm sure you fight evil machines every day where you come from, Flynn. But I'm not like you. Oh, uh, too true. But let me let you in on a little secret, Tess. You want to know why I never act surprised? Because I've seen it all. Except for that, that's right. <laughs> Time to bring in the monkey. The monkey. That's right. The monkey. He'll never expect the monkey. They never do. So here we are. Get to the stone monkey. We're here in rampant ruins. And this is already another good looking level. Um really, really nice magical feel. Uh you see that it's gotten a bit darker. We're we're on level is I think goodness you're here, Skylander. A pack of foul villains has invaded our dig site and are making off with our rare these fragments of petrified darkness were used to power our Kian battle suits and are very dangerous. You must find a way to stop whoever is behind this. Yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, they, they managed to the Oh wait, yeah, this this thing as well. Um what they managed to do is kind of add like as we've gone on through the levels now, we're seeing that we're kind of we've got this more um what, what was the word? You know, it's gotten darker now. It feels a bit darker. It's it's kind of you know we're we're slowly progressing away. I mean, the natural progression it goes like you know pure jungle, and then the finale, but the final bit of it, you know, eventually ends up being ruins. Now it doesn't look very ruinous yet. Uh, it kind of looks old. It looks pretty cool. Um, chompy rust bud, whatever they may be. But um, yes, yeah, it's more like a tree stump thing. I don't even know what that is, but I don't know. Yeah, it just seems to me that they've they've really done a good job with with the design on this level in particular. Um, let me just put the audio, I'm going to put the effects a bit lower because I don't know, I don't, they don't need to be that loud, I mean, it's a bit too everywhere, you know, it's, it's about me, it's about the commentary, it's about hearing the music as well, which isn't loud enough, unfortunately. Um, there's one out of five grave monkey, that they're the collectibles. Um, so let's continue down here, Look, it almost reminds me more of a grave site than it does actually ruins. Now. This is just mocking what we're seeing here. Look at this. Look at the, like, I'm just seeing it in the distance. Here we are. It's like crystal. Wait, wait one sec. Yes. Barrel bots. Let's destroy him. Yeah, have a look at this. Oh my goodness me. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is really nice. Those colors. I mean, fantastic. Fantastic contrast. Vicarious visions. You guys have the vision. The right vision. Whatever. That, that's terrible, that's terrible. It's just such a plain kind of like compliment, isn't it? You have the vision, Vicarious Visions. But yeah, anyway, we're playing a Stealth Elf as well. I know I was playing someone else before, but I thought, you know, just, let's just drop them on the portal of power. Let's just, or her, sorry. Ninja Stealth Elf. Um, oh, and we got, oh, you can't get back there now. Once, once you're out there, you're stuffed. You're absolutely stuffed. Oh, and look, Life Element. Finally, we're in our element. Get it? Oh, that's terrible. Apologies again. Oh, yes, one of these. Slide and shuffle. I, I know I'm a bit a bit lazy with these guys. I, I know I apologize. Um, yeah, sorry, very sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. You know, it doesn't matter. We don't need to do these all, all the time, like 100%. But I mean, we can try. I mean, if it's convenient, maybe we'll give it a go. But you know, I guess it's just a little bit confusing sometimes. There's the blue one here. What's he? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, you okay, okay. Switch to him, and then do something. Oh. That's what you do. Smart, smart. But look, we can actually get that one. We can get two out of three. Finally, another two out of three. I mean, we've been doing ones too often. I think one time we got three. I think, yeah, whatever. Anyway, point is, we got three bolts. And we get a treasure chest. That, that's usually like, yeah, they usually did other bits. But to get a treasure chest, that's, it's rewarding, guys. It's very rewarding. It's, it's satisfying to see our hard work pay off, kind of. Even though, really, it's realistically, it's pretty easy. But... Hopefully, 
hopefully later in the game it actually becomes incredibly difficult and stress inducing. Um, I don't know, but yeah, anyway. Look at those little planks there. Look at this, look at this world. The world of Skylanders. Oh, that is horrific. That is horrific. That that guy looks like an absolute scary. Okay, I will. Well, I'm gonna kill you first. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, ninja, stealth, elf, attack. There we go. I think. I think. Yeah. I wonder what it would be like with the old polar whirlwind in here, eh? Nah, probably not. Nah. You know, it's good. We've got two of them already. They're not that hard. See. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically like it shows up, you know, as like leaf when you attack, you know, because it means it's strong or whatever, so. Anyway, um, what else could I say about this level? Oh, Hello shit. again, my friends. We seem to be having a problem with sugar bats. Well, not sugar bats exactly, that'd be somewhat absurd. These were spiky, enraged, purple sugar bats. Some evilized, you mean? the petrified darkness to evilize these poor creatures. Yes, yeah, see, it's evil. Get the terminology right, mate. You gotta get it right. You bloody wood! Oh, cool. That's very nice. And yeah, there's just really having this on the PS3. Oh my god, so advantageous. And imagine playing this shit on the Wii. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nintendo Wii. Actually, I don't think it was released for the Wii, wasn't it? I think it was the Wii U now. So yeah, I mean, you know, even still, I'm sorry, Wii U, but you're just not up to scratch graphically. Um, this this could only work on a PS3 or Xbox 360. Uh, or may maybe a Wii U as well, but yeah, actually, it's an interesting point. This is being released on the X on PS4. What is it going to look like? Oh shit! I better put that one on. There we go. Polar whirlwind. I love him or her, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, what would it be like on the PS4? I've seen some footage, but it's been recorded from like a booth, so. Honestly, I would not be able to tell much of a difference, but graphically, I am curious as to what advancements they can make on the PlayStation 4 consoles, because, I mean, yes, there is a definite improvement in the graphics, but I, being someone that's not as involved with modern video games anymore, I can't really see much. I really need to see, like, like next-to-each-other images to really, really get... I understand that, like, things like lighting effects and particle effects would definitely be improved thanks to PS4 slash Xbox One, but I, I'm not... I, I kind of want to see a little bit more evidence of it or, or kind of a bit... They kind of, like, baby me through it a little bit more to show the differences, but yeah, I, I hope that Skylanders does well on the PS4 system. I'm sure it looks great. I mean, it looks great here. I mean, the way that they change the lighting and colours, fantastic. And yes! Yes, finally we can actually use this. Now we've got to switch to, uh, let's go get Thingo. Put him on. Alright, let me bend. Get it. There we go. Delicious. Yes. I love Washbuckler. He's just so awesome. You know how can't you like Washbuckler? No, seriously, how can't you? If you don't like it. Okay, so here we are. Climbing. Oh, it's, it's gone bright again. It's gone bright again. It feels like level 1. But, okay, actually, this is difficult. We've got 324 bits of health, and I can imagine we loot... Oh, shit. Shit, that was a big chunk of stuff. Oh, we got the little thing. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, 51. Come on. That's in the name of uh, Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 4. 51. As it is Walter White's 51st birthday. Anyway. And look, see the little nice little clouds there. I shouldn't be... I should not be focusing on that. I should be focusing on the job at hand. And that is... Oh, crap. Oh crap, oh shit. Okay, that is uh, climbing this wall, which it, in a way it looks like it's just we're looking at it top down and we're like walking across. That's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. It doesn't really think make me look like we're actually climbing, but maybe it's because of the way this guy walks. See, he walks like that pretty much normally anyway, uh, Wash Buckler. So I guess we could blame that, I suppose. Um, as well as that though, uh, yeah, if it was maybe, maybe look, look more like climbing, it would kind of be cool, but I guess the fact that you know that it's climbing is because, you know, he, it's like actually vertical, like things are falling, it doesn't look like they're kind of travelling, it does look like they're falling, but yeah, anyway, shit, we've got 19, and okay, I think talking through that probably screwed me up, but whatever, anyway, swap zone challenge unlocked, good, good to see, alright, here we go, back to the start, Easy, it cut then we didn't have to jump down or anything, it just did it for us. Yes, gems. Oh, look at those gems. And, it, oh, is it going to be a hat? It is a map. A map of what? Oh, a bonus mission map. Ooh, cool. Cool, very cool. Very great, eh? 
pretty amazing. Huh? Not really? No? Hey, what was that? Oh, 146 health. Oh yes, another one of these. Is that that guy over there talking? Yeah. What a nice guy. I better get out of here. You know what? I'm not threatened by you. I'm just going to push these things down here like I normally would. There we go. Jump and nothing down there. Nope. Doesn't appear to be. Rampant ruins. Not full of many surprises yet. Anyway, let's make the jump. Shit. The devious gate was set up to stop intruders from entering the temple. Can you make it work? Okay. Alright. So what's this little thing here? What do we do? Oh, it worked. No, you just press it. Is that all you do? Okay. Very nice. Sailing ahead. Yes. Well, we're actually not sailing. We're currently not in a boat or any automobile for that matter. So it's technically wrong. But yeah, look at that. Look out there in the background. It's such cool, like, blurring effects. I love it. Oh, shit. I'm scared of these guys. Archean Rip Rotor. We will destroy you. Oh. Gosh. Let's... Shit. Yes, attack. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. Look, we are dominating. We're absolutely dominating. Let's... Come on. Oh, crap. Actually, no, we're not dominating. We're actually not dominating. So, wait. Quick, quick. Too slow. No. Oh, too slow. Yep, he's back up. No, he's not. He's not. Is he? He's back up. He's, yes, no, he's not. He's... Oh, he doesn't know whether to get back up or, or not. There we go. Level up. Level 4. Washbuckler is powerful. Washbuckler is great. If I had to give Washbuckler a ranking, I'd give it an 8. And that rhymes. And that actually reminds me to get you guys to subscribe to Balls Australia, our ball review channel, which is taking the piss out of uh, reviews. Definitely go check it out. Please. Please, Skylanders guys. Please check it out. You'll love the humour. It's ball related. Anyway. Can we get through here? No, we can't. we got to kill this guy first. And, oh, shit. Here we go. Rampant ruins. What did he say? What did he say? I did not get that. Anyway. Let's continue down here, and a fire element, um, should we switch, yeah, uh, maybe, is there any different areas where we can go, yeah, I'm just going to switch, damn right, blast zone, back with a vengeance, look at him, I love blast zone, blast zone is awesome, I've really grown to like blast zone, what would I do without you blast it? Shit, oh shit, that's five. That's four? No, that's five. Four. Okay, I can't even can't even get the counting right, but okay, shite. This is difficult stuff. Look, this is this is hugely uh, based around um, what's it called? Combat. This is just such a combat based game. I love it. It's kinda of fun. It's a bit button mashing, it feels a bit like Kingdom Hearts at times, but no one here is advanced. Actually actually imagine that. If this game was like Kingdom Hearts, I'd be brilliant. But like it wouldn't be because it wouldn't be Kingdom Hearts because the storyline would be nowhere near as immersive. Sorry, Skylanders fans. I mean, you got to play Kingdom Hearts. But having said that, Kingdom Hearts and uh, Skylanders do have something in common. They both have the potential to be milked beyond belief. Um, Kingdom Hearts, like they really need to end that after four, but I don't think they would. They've made so many games. They did Kingdom Hearts two, then they did like five games, and they did now they're finally doing three. Like almost ten years later, so it's kind of hopefully Skylanders doesn't become like, you know, like other franchises like Guitar Hero and they just do too many and then they just die. But honestly, I could see, I think these days consumers, I think they want a Skylanders game a year. But I don't know. I, I really think, just like with, um, the, you know, the FIFA sports game, one day they should just, one year they should just not do it. You know, like just, and just have time to like work on another one. It could be a big loss initially, but, you know, then... Yes, thank you. After that, you know, there could be this potential for, like, when they release it two years later, all these big, big engine changes and fixes, you know, like, they'll be able to see, wow, wow, they've came a long way, I'm definitely going to buy this one, like, you know, two years old, or even one and a half years, but I, I guess I can't, I, what, who am I, the marketing department, I think it's too big a risk for them. Anyway, let's look at these, now we've got two of these things here, now let's do it, okay, go, go, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, alright, cool, we did that one. How does that thing even work anyway? Is that just like pure luck? Wait. No. Only a swap Skylander with the speed ability can activate this swap zone. What a shame. What an absolute shame. Anyway, let's go and go in here. Here we go. I don't know, the door things are weird. Alright, anyway. Um,. Yeah, oh shit, no. no, see, 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 I wanted to kill that, because I just thought, you know, I gotta kill everyone, 
I have to kill everybody. Is there a song by Skrillex called Kill Everybody? I don't actually listen to Skrillex, but I'm pretty sure there is. Anyway, nice little jump across there. What would happen if you fell with it? Like, regenerate or something? Anyway, checkpoint. Uh, I probably think that that's a good time to maybe leave it in a minute. We'll just, uh... Oh, well, I'm already as fire, mate, so don't worry. Here we go, look at this ruinous. I love, like, paying attention to these, these ruins here. Why here ruins? In the words of the Ape Escape copy that I have on the emulator that... Like, calls dark ruins, why here ruins? Like, what, what are you on about? What? Why here ruins? Why do you hate ruins? Anyway, um... Another button masher. And a door with, uh... Two things I'm looking at that. I should not be looking at that right now. I should be concentrating. I should be concentrating like a like a you know a smart person, but no I'm not. Okay. I don't want to die here, but Oh, we're in level six. Yes. Okay, ready? So look, there's the door there. I think you have to No, what do you have to do? Here we go. What is going on? Alright. What what I don't get it. What do you have to do? So wait, you gotta Press it at the right time or something? Oh, wait. Yeah, it appears to be like... Yeah, oh, okay. I've... Oh, that... What? See, I was looking at that. I'm actually looking at that and I didn't get it. I'm sorry, am I an actual moron or one of those pretend ones you see all the time? That was moronic as hell. I'm sorry, guys. I really apologize for that. Um, in fact, it's so embarrassing... So embarrassing... Uh, that I may have to end the part after this. Because I just want to get all these collectibles too. Because we've got 2,492... Um, rings, or whatever you want to call them. And, oh, there's some treasure there. Some delicious treasure. There we go. Do that. Yeah, because we hit the checkpoint, I'm pretty sure that we're, we've hit, like, the halfway point of the level. So we might as well... Um, shit, what's that? Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Okay, yeah, we'll end it here. Shit, be careful. Yeah, we'll end it here because uh, Glumshanks, we don't want to hurt him too much. But anyway, uh, we'll actually, yeah, we'll, guys, we'll defeat Glumshanks in the next part. So thank you for watching, guys. See you later.